So I want to pull up this story right here. This is from CNN. Biden admin eyes a potentially stark shift in messaging around ending the pandemic. So tomorrow we're supposed to get a statement from Joe Biden about what they're going to do. But his his message was clear. They say, quote, for the unvaccinated, we are looking at a winter of severe illness and death for the unvaccinated. He said it twice, I guess. For themselves, their families and the hospitals, they will soon overwhelm. But there's good news. If you're vaccinated and you have your booster shot, you're protected from severe illness and death. Are they? Now, I don't want to play any silly games dragging Joe uh, Joe Biden. This is not his administration. Well, I guess they say, you know, <laughs> this is Biden's, you know, address to the American people. Saying that, many people were like, yo, it's just before Christmas and you're going to be like, you're going to face death and illness and everything. <laughs> but people on the left are going to be like, he's just warning people as he, as he should. So I'm not going to I'm not going to play games and be like, aha, we don't like Biden. So we criticize every single thing he says. I will tell you, you will not convince anyone that, you know, when Biden said, if you're vaccinated and you have your booster shot, you're protected from severe illness and death. I'm going to make two very important points. Mm. I'm not a scientist. I can't tell you. I'll make three, actually. I can't tell you anything about the research being done on this stuff. I got no idea. You make sure you talk to a doctor, you know, and trust. Get a second opinion. I can tell you that I was interacting with someone on Twitter who said, just got my third shot. And then I said, are you going to get your booster? And this guy responds, I just said I got my third shot. I said, no, 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 I, I meant the fourth shot. Because, but, but I'm not trying to be a dick. Like literally several leftist publications have already said a full vaccine dose is three shots. Mm -hmm. And he said, it's a stupid conversation because every year we get a flu shot and no one asks you if it's your, eight, if it's your 18th. Yeah. My response to that is the flu shots, as I understand it, are different. Meaning every year they say, here's the dominant strain. Here's the vaccine for this strain and a few others it might not stop these other strains. The COVID vaccine is one vaccine developed specifically for the alpha strain. And now we're getting, we're, we're, we're looking for data on whether or not it will stop Omicron, as Joe Biden likes to call it, <laughs> or any other variant. And if that's the case, Joe Biden is not doing anything by saying this when you have this story. Elizabeth Warren, vaxed and, vaccinated and boosted, tests positive for COVID. Cory Booker, positive for coronavirus. Both Elizabeth Warren and Cory Booker are vaccinated and boosted. And then we have Jim Cramer who, uh, of CNBC, who said uh, he, he said that the military should forcefully vaccinate people. And he posted a positive test. Now, I'm not going to tell you what or why that is. I'll tell you my theory on exactly what this is. I believe is, is, is infinitely more likely, infinitely likely, or I should say, just simple, put it simply. I believe all these people lied about getting vaccinated. Whoa. No. Okay. <laughs> I, I mean, it. like, look, there's a photo of Elizabeth Warren and they're putting a needle in her arm. Yeah. I think you've got two potentials. The vaccine isn't working on the variants. The efficacy has waned to the point where COVID cases in New York are breaking records. Yep. Or these specific politicians and high profile individuals who go on TV and virtue signal about the vaccine never got it.